Ready, Sharon? All right. Uh, good evening. This is the uh, select board meeting for Thursday, December 7th. Call this meeting to order at 615. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, announcements. Uh, this meeting is being recorded for the home audience. Um, reminder, when to parking ban is in effect through April 1st. No parking on any streets between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Vehicles in violation will be ticketed and towed at the owner's expense. Um, also, snow and ice removed from driveway, sidewalks, or private property shall not be plowed, shoveled, or blown across any public way, street, or roadway. Uh, Brad, would you read us off the warrants, please? Sure, FY2411 accounts payable $862,907.23. FY2411 payroll $197,755.35. FY2411 withholding $96,516.68. Thank you, sir. All right, and on to the agenda. Agenda item number one, the uh, uh, the uh, retraction of uh, Assistant Animal Control Officer Ashley Ledger. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you. All right. So um, this was um, this matter was brought to us by um, Cassie Buffum, the Animal Control Officer. Um, I will. Uh, I've conveyed my apology, but I apologize again. This is probably not the most appropriate um, agenda way of expressing the agenda item. Um, is that? Um, but uh, Cassie was, uh, this should have been brought up differently, but it's sufficiently accurate. We don't need to change it. Um, uh, Ashley has, um, ha you actually, you talked to her, um, Kelly. Mm -hmm. has, she, uh, has she asked us to withdraw her appointment or has she assented oh, to it? Yeah, Again? Yes, I, I got my notes. That was forwarded to the board. I believe it was forwarded to everyone. But it's in your packet if it wasn't. Mm -hmm. She did volunteer to do the position, mm -hmm. but because of her full-time job, she hasn't been able to respond when she's been called. Mm -hmm. And she didn't have the time to take the mandatory classes, so she's comfortable with the withdrawal, it's she's, uh, with the decision of her appointment. Okay. She wanted the board to understand that it wasn't a lack of interest or desire to do the job. It's, it's availability. Her, is, her availability is not when, because the calls are random. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. She's been called a few times when she was available, but most of the time she's at work. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you're in a volunteer position and you have to do something and get paid to keep the right. I'm, the house I'm in repair. Right, driving the ambulance to the hospital. Sorry, got to get a dog. No, not a good plan. So mm -hmm. please focus on the ambulance. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We're okay with that kind of prioritization. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I, yes, I can't. I can't argue with that. Um, would it, um, okay, then, uh, all right, so we'll need to post this position. And if we, uh, well, actually, if we, if we just, what do we want to do? Do we want, um, well, typically what we do is we put it on the website and we put feelers out to see. It's not an advertisement, it's not a job that we advertise because it's not a, it's a stipend, it's a once a year annual stipend, it's not mm -hmm. a paid position, right? So, will follow the normal course of posting it on the website and reaching out to other areas and feeling out, see if somebody's interested in taking that position. Mm hmm Okay. I'm just, part of me is thinking, does it make sense to leave her in there just in case she can do something for us or do we just want to no, take her out now? Okay. You shouldn't post it until it's vacant, so. Okay, that's. Right. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I, I, I could see the possibility. Is, is you, could put, you could say, hey, it'll, it's, her appointment ends as of, say, a month from now, and then post it and yeah. Yeah. overlap. Yeah. Or, that's, that's your, that's that's your option. other option. That's an option. Yeah, or just to say, it's like, or if she'd be willing to, it's like, it, if it made sense, a, a, a position could be posted while the current occupant says, I, I'll stay until you find someone. Except that you can't respond to the call. Yeah, I know. That's, I'm, I know, I'm working, I'm working through it. But yeah, if you want to overlap it, you absolutely have that option. Mm hmm okay. All right, you guys have any preference here or? Do we have the date that we're voting the appointment? Can you give us your symbol? I don't know if Karen's providing the 
No, she did not. Uh, it's an annual appointment, so it would have been, been, been this, been this year. So, so yeah. why don't um, I'll go ahead and make a motion to rescind the vote of June 2022 three, three mm -hmm. uh, to appoint uh, Ashley Ledger as assistant ACO. Second. All right. Any further discussion? All right. All in favor of rescinding the appointment of Ashley Ledger to the uh, as assistant animal control officer, please say aye. 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 All right. And so, Kelly, would you um, would you uh, get things moving to uh, post the uh, post that for the replacement and uh, ask uh, Kathy and any uh, not not Kathy Cassie or anyone else, and anyone else appropriate um, to start finding if we could find a replacement. Okay. Now I do have a question about that mm -hmm. relative to this. Do we do we pay for their courses if they accept the position? Or are they responsible? Mm -hmm. No, it comes out of their it comes out of their account because it comes out of their expense account because it is mandatory. Right. Okay. So that'd be something I would include in the probably in the posting. Okay. Yeah. That, that training yeah. is training, included. Training will be provided if, if needed. Mm -hmm. Or put it or you can frame it up in a different way unless you're willing to complete the training within X amount of time. Yeah. I think that'll help us locate a candidate a little faster yeah, if they I'll, understand I, I'll find out what the mandatory because it's the state requires the training be done by a certain amount of time yeah is uh, does the assistant animal control officer have the same training requirements as the primary animal control officer yes okay all right anything else on agenda item number one no all right number two uh, Recreation Committee appointment of Mark Harris to the Recreation Committee. Uh, let's see. Do we know how, how full is the Recreation Committee at the moment? Do we know? I do not. Okay. I will probably see, I will see the basketball coordinator on Saturday. I will ask him. I'm just curious. I mean, it's good that if they, no matter how many openings they have, it's always good to fill as many of them as they can. All right, so I will take, uh, I'll take a motion. So move. Second. All right, uh, any discussion? All right, all in favor of appointing, uh, let's see, and all in favor of appointing um, Mark. Harris. Mark Harris, thank you. I wanted to make sure it wasn't Mike Harris. Uh, Mark Harris, the Recreation Committee, um, through June 30th, 2024, uh, please say aye. 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 All right, and Beth, this is signed by the clerk. All right, number three, appointment of Aiden Crawford to the emergency medical squad, um, term to expire on June 30th, 2024. And this is at the request of uh, Chief um, LaFleur. So moved. Second. All right, uh, any, uh, any discussion? Uh, all in favor of appointing Aiden Crawford to the emergency medical squad, uh, Term ending in June 30th, 2024, please say aye. 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 Another one for you to sign, Beth. <laughs> Actually, we are lucky. And you thought clerk was going to be easy. Been there, done that. <laughs> All right. And now, uh, item number four, cultural council resignations. Fallen like flies. We have uh, resignations from, uh, let's see, Doreen Neifert, effective at the end of the year, uh, Jessica Clark, effective immediately, Noah Clark, effective immediately, uh, Damien Sargent, uh, let's see, as of the end of the year, and Kate Uli, as of the end of the year. And uh, make a motion to accept all those resignations with, a, with regrets. Second. 
All right. All in favor of accepting the uh, resignations, please say aye. 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 Uh, let's see. Is, uh, How many does that leave us on Council? Um, as of the end of the year, one. one. Bill Simpson Sr. Wow. Yes, that's. Uh, there are two others who are interested in being appointed. Yes, I heard they were. Is that burnout? Mm -hmm. That was different. Oh, okay. There was, oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so. uh, given that we discussed the resignations, is the membership of the Cultural Council in play agenda wise? Sure. Okay. Just want to make sure we're doing that right. Um, so we've got. We've got two, so my thought is that we've got a uh, cultural council that did uh, summer concerts, Memorial Day, and they did some community events, Pumpkin Fest, the, uh, tree, li uh, the tree lighting, and I think that's it. All right. That's all that comes to mind off the top of my head. So. How many positions did they have available? That's a good question. Because I, I had this talked to Gene and suggested, you know, maybe just having five. We don't have an actual town set number. Yeah. The cultural council is allowed we to don't have a up to 22. The town is supposed to decide how many members they would like it to be. I don't believe that Brookfield has that in place at this time, which is a problem because if it can be up to 22, what, what's a quorum? Yeah. Right. So that is something we want to consider um, putting in place a, a, a number of. And if you have more people who volunteer, then you have seats for it. There's no reason they can You, you can still volunteer. Council, right. And, help or and we can, get, and we can give you credit in the annual report. report. Alternates. Um, can we look into whether we can do alternates for a culture sure. council? And if we can't currently, I think if we wrote our bylaw to allow alternates, we could actually fix it at the next town meeting. Like we could make I don't it, think you need a bylaw. Mm -hmm. I think you, you can do it as a... The board can set the, the number, oh. but I'll check on that as well. Yeah. That would be great. Mm -hmm. And then also I was talking to Jean on Sunday at the tree lighting and she mentioned that she has some, that there is some cultural council property at her house and that she was looking to get it back to the town and out of her house. So Yeah, I brought that up because she, told me that as well and I believe Bill Simpson senior has stuff at his house too mm -hmm. yeah he's he's still on the council and so my thought was I know that they maintain some storage in the basement of the um, of the historical commission house the, uh, the library annex and then also there may be some space here but my thought is we should probably decide where we where we want to put that wouldn't that be more of Town Hall Improvement Committee to decide where to put it in the town hall versus That's us. Not an no. Yeah, it's up yeah. to us to tell them where they can put it. Yeah. Yeah, it's up to us to find them storage space. She said it was just a couple. It was like a couple tubs, like this so big or so. They're not. I don't think it's an inordinate amount of space. We're going back and forth about where the things that belong to the cultural council are going to be housed, um, as opposed to being just sitting on the stage. Mm-hmm. They had it on the landing, if you're facing the stage on the left side, another story up. Mm -hmm. There is a corresponding landing on the right side, so they could use that. It doesn't have a door, but it was open anyway. So. Yeah, it's not like it was locked up anyway. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an option, is to use that landing on, on the opposite side. Okay. I think that's... I think that's a good starting point. If it becomes a problem, we can revisit it and move it somewhere else. Yep. All right. Good. And then I will, I will reach out to, I'll try and remember to reach out to Gene and Bill and just see how but the- But they probably uh, can't do it anytime soon if they're up there painting currently right now, right? Well, as it turns out, that's one of the reasons we're working with them now is because we need it off the stage. So um, Gene was asked via email if, she would just let the town hall improvement committee know what was saving, what they want to save, and what was garbage because they're getting a dumpster and they're going to be throwing away all the extra wood that's up there that's of no use and broken things that have been put up there for lack of a better place to put them. Um, 
So when, when it comes time to, right now we have everything in the center of the room on, on the stage. When it comes time to paint the center of the room, the stage area, all that has to move. Got it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're working with them. So it should be done within the next couple of weeks, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, two to three weeks. Yeah. Let's see, uh, do you think they're going to be switching to the middle of the room before Christmas, or is that going to be... Oh, absolutely after? not. Okay. So, no. they, they have to be scraped, prime, muddy, sandy, muddy, sandy, vacuumed. <laughs> they will be priming a second coat, and then they start on the windows in the trim. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a, a, a process. Okay. Because well. it all has to be sanded and then re urethane, where they're re urethane. Because some of the pieces up there, like all of the actual panes, mm -hmm. those frames are all painted. So those are going to be painted. Mm -hmm. Sections between the windows are painted in some spots. In some spots, they do. So we're going to make them consistent where the, the, the flat part's going to be painted, but the face will be your thing. The window frames themselves will be painted, but the outer, um, the housing, the casing will be, will be your thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so okay. it's, it's going to be at least a couple of weeks before they need to move into the center of the room, and, and they're not moving to the center of the room until they're done with the walls. The windows mm -hmm. and then the archways mm -hmm. of the ceiling because they're also doing the ceiling. Okay. Uh, the reason I ask is that if there's a, uh, if if there if some things could wait until Christmas break, I could probably arrange for a couple of scouts to uh, log some community service hours, helping move things oh, around out there. That would be lovely. I would suggest they coordinate um, with the town hall improvement mm -hmm. committee. We're well, supposed to get one week's notice from the painter. Mm -hmm. and then, All right. And then we'll know. I will. Uh, I will talk to uh, Bill Simpson Jr. as his daughter is one of the scouts that would probably wind up helping. Well, that would make it easy, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so get, given the description of what the work they've done so far, I feel better about the price because it sounds like they're doing it properly, which they is what are. we didn't they're, do they're, the last They're an extremely years. reputable company and do most, um, a lot of historical renovations in the Long Meadow area. So it's, they do very high-end work. And they came in 20 grand less than they I'm very, I'm very pleased with the work they've done so far. Okay, uh, let's see. Still on agenda, agenda item number four, we have a, a re, also a resignation from uh, Barbara Clancy from the Library Board of Trustees. Um, effective, um, this was effective September 13th. And so. So I'll make a motion that we accept Barbara's um, resignation with regrets. Second. All right. All in favor of accepting Barbara's resignation with regret, please say aye. 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 I assume we're sending notes out to everybody. Yeah, I'm writing it down letters to each of them. All right. Moving on. Number five common victualler licenses. <clears throat> and we have, <clears throat> excuse me. Licenses for White's Landing, Tip Top, and Dollar General. My understanding is that Oakholm is will be at the next meeting. That is correct. All right. I'm going to make a motion that we sign the 2024 Common Victualler License for White's Landing, Tip Top, and Dollar General. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Or, uh, is there any discussion? Seeing as there's none, all in favor of signing the victuallers licenses for the uh, three listed companies, please say aye. 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 So, White's, White's Landing. Tip top. And DG. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Agenda item number six is discharge of lien on real estate, 7 Gay Road. Kelly, is this another one of those loans that the uh, town is, just has an interest and they earn out by staying in their house? We've, we've. I heard the beginning of that. Okay. I didn't hear the last okay. <clears throat> we, there have been other liens that we have discharged and I'm asking if this is like those where it, it is. is a, it is a loan program and they, they, they pay off the loan or they, they. It's a lien that reduces for the number of years that they're here, but if they sell within that, that reduction period, it eventually zeroes out. Mm -hmm. Then they have to pay back whatever that amount was on that year. Okay. So, so and it's the very same type of, of um, usually it's it's a housing, it comes with housing money, it's not our money, it's housing money. Right. Okay. So this is somebody that stayed for a portion of the time. Yes, they only stayed for, I think, three years. They're at the three-year mark, or close to it. So wait a second, isn't this printed up in reverse then? So, oh, so they actually paid off the 17325 Got it, okay. Yes, they paid, they paid the amount that they had to do. Yeah. Okay. We so they charge it in until we have the funding, so that you wouldn't have seen this unless they had paid the bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are people. They didn't stay long enough to completely earn it out. They just paid their. They they paid what they had to pay, mm -hmm. and so now they're clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I'll take a motion to sign this. Motion to sign. Second. All right. Any further discussion? All right, all in favor of um, signing the uh, discharge of lien for the property at 7 Gay Road, please say aye. 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 All right, and there's only one, there's only one place to sign it in. My suppose, should I sign it or, yeah. or should, should I get the, um, yep. should, I, should I get the authorization to the board or if the board's already agreed, can we I just, just sign voted it? Yes, then. We just voted all right, I'm just, yes. Well, yeah. sometimes we all need to sign, I don't know. <laughs> There might be. There might be one notary for each one of you. Hmm. And today is the seventh day of December, 2023. And uh, Kelly, are you t doing the notary honors? Sure. All right. Because there's a spot for a notary there. <clears throat> Does he need to prove he's in? I think I can use that we adopt the uh, flag policy as written. Second. All right. Um, that's fine. Uh, just for the, uh, for, the, for the home audience, I'd like to say that the, uh, we're voting to um, adopt a policy that would allow the uh, flying only of the following flags on the uh, town flagpoles. The uh, United States flag, Commonwealth of Massachusetts flag, the town of Brookfield flag, um, Flags of the uh, official flags of the various branches of the military services, the United States of America, and the uh, POW MIA flag, and that no other flags will be um, put on the uh, town flagpoles. Um, any questions on the policy? No? Nope. All right. All in favor of the policy, please say aye. 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 All right. It is adopted. All right, <clears throat> minutes. We have minutes for December 9th, 2018. I'm sorry, October 9th, 2018. October 26th, 2023, um, open session. November 2nd, 2023. November 7th, 2023, open session. And November 16th, 2023. 
Um, I'll take a motion to approve those, or and so then we can discuss. Moved. Second. All right. Any uh, discussion or concerns on those minutes? No. All right. Seeing as there's none, um, all in favor of approving the minutes of the meeting so listed, please say aye. 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 All right. All right. All right, we have a police report from 8 to 23. So I, I do have a question about this. Yes? Um, well, first of all, I'll make a motion to acknowledge it. Okay. So I'll oh, make a motion. Did yeah, you just I make, make a, a Second. All right, <laughs> thank you. All right, so the discussion is, is there a reason why we're getting August and it's December and um, my understanding, I, I think part of it is that uh, Chief Blanchard says that he is at the mercy of getting the reports from dispatch up in New Braintree. Um, oh, they can't just pull this out of some computer system like at the end of the month? I, I, I don't know. Or, I, or maybe getting someone to actually do the pulling and send it is a manual task and it sometimes takes a little while for that to get to him. Anyway, um, I think I, if they pulled it out of their own system, there would be a phenomenal amount of redaction. Because it's not going to create a list like no, this. No, I understand. So that might be one of the reasons he's getting it from dispatch. Right. Like from and office. they may have something going on that they didn't push it to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All in favor of acknowledging the police report for August of 2023, please say aye. 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 All right. All right, skating rink on the common. I was hoping Rec would be here. And so, do you want a motion or do we want to discuss first? Um, let's discuss first because okay. I'm I'm inclined to say, it's like, given what happened last year, I was hoping REC would be here to talk to their plans and, and uh, talk to the uh, concerns from, from that uh, Cultural Council has raised. We don't have a Cultural Council anymore. Um, so I think no, 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 Te do. technically we do. No, te <laughs> technically, technically, well, technically we do because they haven't all resigned at the end of the year, but I know what you mean. Okay. So, so you, you actually have, I believe, four Yes. So. Yes. Set four, I think we have four. Until the end of the year, we have four members who are active, and then three of them, their re resignations become effective at the end of the year. It's like, and I understand that there's. I understand that the there is no cultural council to I'll say, enforce their concerns. But I think that we do want to understand what they are and at least have Rex say. Yeah, it's like, yep, we're, it's like, yep, that's a valid concern. We're going to do this, or we're not sure that's a valid concern. And so part of, part of me just says, because I'm curious where, they're, where they want to put it, because I heard that the rec may have um, said that they'd be willing to put it behind the gazebo, though I believe there's a dip there, so I'm not sure how well suited that is for their need. It's a, it, it, you need it to not be like. Well, yeah, you don't want it to be at this angle because right. it'll be really thick over here. You're probably going to rip through it with your skates over here. Yeah. But, but if it's going to dip, depending on, I mean, it's a 40 foot, it's a big ice cube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, I, I was a fan of putting it on the green last year. And it, it just didn't happen. But, so, and I know that there's, I guess there were concerns about it, but. It seems like it's a, 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 a if we if we have the if the rec committee has the equipment they have the volunteers to put it in mm -hmm. we're managing to have like a, a mild enough winter they can still get it properly secured just about anywhere because we're not waiting until the ground is frozen or and or they've already got snow on the ground now would be the time to get it down mm -hmm. to get it properly installed 
If, if you choose and to allow I me, mean, can the you big do deal. it with the stipulation that it has to be on the back side and maintained deal. by the rec? And somebody's got to come up and, and yeah. take care and so clean up the common. So I, and I think there's, there's make sure there's, they don't move the benches. Yeah, there's, what, two, there's two stipulations. One, don't move the benches because the last time we moved the benches, the benches got broken. Mm -hmm. We had right. new benches. So, and I mean, that should come, I don't know what they have for budget, but I mean, does that come out of their budget? It didn't. Actually, I believe Mr. Simpson paid for them out of his own pocket. Yeah, so that shouldn't happen. That should come out of their That was a timing thing. <laughs> uh, but it was coming out of the Cultural Council money, one, either, either that, and I, I think the one. Because when I talked to Gene, I mean, the other concern was damage to the gazebo. Yeah, these people are walking on it with, with, with the skates. Mm. Will it fit in that big space? You know, with the gazebo, if we come up this street here, right, and the gazebo is here, will it fit in the space between this street and the gazebo? I mean, there, I don't think there's space between the gazebo and 148 or Common Street. No, it has to be between the gazebo yeah. and uh, Lincoln. Yeah. yeah, it has to be. It has to be either north or south of the gazebo, towards Central Street or towards um, Lincoln Street. That, that's what I was actually. All right, or the other question is, can it fit where we do the Memorial Day, where we actually do the speaking for the Memorial Day on the other I side? I don't think that's side? flat enough. The mall? Mm -hmm. I think the mall has rolls too much too soon. I, I would be. I don't think that's. I don't think this side of the flagpole it rolls too much. Mm. But it's something for them to explore. Yeah, I, I mean. Yeah. You know, maybe, sorry, maybe we I defer mean, this I'm, and I'm, have a meeting with them, or one person have a meeting with. Yeah. One person on the rack and try to talk it out. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 okay to saying they can if they want to put it on the south end of the mall, like just north of Central Street where it cuts through. Yeah. If they can put it there and they think it works, I'm good with that. I think that would be a good spot for it mm -hmm. because it keeps people away from the gazebo. Yeah. Keeps the skates away from the damage from I, that. I, I seem to remember last year saying that they think that, that it wasn't level enough. That. But no, it's no, I think the problem was was that by the time we made any decision, it, I think that it was not, it, I don't think we really even put that forward as an option. Oh. I think it was the Cultural Council said thou shalt not put it on the mall. Mm -hmm. Period. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't remember. Don't remember we that. We could go back and watch it. We could. So. But, you know. The, Put, if you if you choose to allow them to put the, the skating rink somewhere in the center area, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay to also say this is this is what we expect, and if it's not done that way, then it won't go back next year. Yeah, you know that's mm -hmm. something that you can do if you want to. Mm -hmm. Say so we we anticipate this type of, of maintenance and policing of the area as far as you know. I'm thinking garbage. You know, trash. Yeah, and, that's. I, I think the expectation is that they will um, maintain the um, maintain the rink in in good working order and generally good visual appeal, and um, maintain and um, keep the uh, common in a uh, reasonably clean. I'm not sure what the right words are, but mm -hmm. not allow the use of the rink to become make the common become a, a trash pit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to say it. And, and to set it up in a way that minimizes the risk of physical damage to the to town property, which is why we want to try to get it as far away from the gazebo as possible. That sounds like a good compromise if it'll fit there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. should we say we make a motion to approve it subject to? If that's your choice, yes, you can absolutely make yeah. that motion. Yeah. Yeah. Do so. we? I mean, unless you have a clear way to make a motion. <laughs> I'm up for anything. Uh, I'll make a motion that we um, think is the best way to phrase this. Yeah, you, you want a minute to make sure you get all your points down? Yeah. Let okay. Just, let me actually write it out because this one might be somewhat complicated, but I'll try to keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, well, Kelly, you're asking a lot there. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> All right. Hopefully your artwork is pretty good. Too. <laughs> yeah, upload it to chat GPT. It's like, it was just, yeah, I can't read this scratch. <laughs> okay, so I make a motion uh, that we authorize uh, the installation. The 
base rank with the following provisions. One preferred site. I mean, this really comes down to the select board to police any damage or, you know, trash being out there and stuff like that. How so? Well, I mean, if there's trash out there and it's left out there, who's going to yeah, tell them? Could you just look out your window? I could. Yeah. Second floor, please. <laughs> I could even walk around, even so long as the yeah. sidewalks are prepared. Yeah. Well, I think the, the onus of the, of the responsibility is being put on the maintenance goes on, on the right. Right. committee. Yeah, and if we no, know it's the select, select board, but I mean, but it's the select board that's going to tell them like, hey, you're not following. Them. You're not yeah, following. If we right. Get complaints or you see something out there, and I'm sure people will let us know mm -hmm. if it's not being maintained properly. Secondary site option is it south side. What do you consider the area that's the, got the gazebo on it? This it looks like the middle. There is a name for it. <clears throat> I know there is a proper name. Right. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm just going to say of common in front of library. see here uh, our committee assumes responsibility to any property damage that's uh, proximate to the rink usage town property damage what's that town property damage yeah mm -hmm. Activities including No, there were there were some I'm reading there are some recommendations here. I don't know if we wanna heed to those or wait till an event happens. What were they? Uh We hope you will at least not allow it in front of the gazebo and be sure there is a bench provided for putting skates on and not using the gazebo for this. There should be signage, cameras, maybe parent supervision. And then I saw somewhere else about there was supposed to be signs or they talked about putting signs, use it at your own risk. That was in a prior year comment. I like the providing the uh, bench adjacent to the rink for skate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, that was one of the things I wanted to bring up. Uh, I mean, maybe they should have like a rope with like a, hook on it to keep people from go you know, to, to mm -hmm. discourage people from going on to the gazebo. gazebo. I don't know mm -hmm. what you call it. Yeah, either that or just a, a sign saying no skates. Mm. There might be better wording for that. That's almost a challenge. Well, I'm just, I'm gonna say or words to that effect. Yeah. Okay, so what I've got so far is we authorize the installation of the ice rink with the following provisions. Preferred site is the south side of the mall north of Central Street. Secondary site option, south, south Wait, side. That north of Central Street or north of Lincoln Street? 
north of Central Street. Primary position. Oh, yes, got it. Mm -hmm. Right, would be north of Central Street. On the mall. Yep, south of Flagpole. Because that's the only area I think that's actually flat enough anyway. Is that? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, secondary site option is the south side of the common in front of the library. Rec committee assumes responsibility for town property damage due to skating or skater activities, including but not limited to skate damage to the gazebo, um, bench damage. Is there any other types of damage we're concerned about? I think the gazebo and the benches were the were the primary were the primary damage. Are the complaints were that the like the people right. throwing Did sticks onto them? No. Maybe we should. They do operate yes. in the cold. Most people won't use <laughs> <them> in the cold. <laughs> yes. They stay pretty clean. <laughs> There's a you know. Uh, Folks are not as hardy to use outhouses as they were once, <laughs> once in the day. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, no movement of existing benches. Provide a bench adjacent to the rink for skate changing. Um, signage will be posted indicating no skates in the gazebo or words to that effect, as well as skate at own risk. Do we have anything about them? Uh Maintaining the rink in good order and maintaining the visual appeal of the uh, of the location. Uh, how about just the rec committee will be responsible for? Well, it says that the area. Right? Doesn't it say maintenance? Yeah, it did say maintenance. Shouldn't the motion have to say maintenance? It's going to be a three-page motion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you leave it broad enough, you can. Uh, they are small pages, and I'm writing with big handwriting. It's on a very big handwriting. Uh, Rec committee. At least it's not a five-page article in the warrant book. Support. Uh, just policing of the area, I would say. Well, that, they're not going to understand policing. That's a term. Yeah. It means I, something specific. Um, Maintain, maintain general uh, maintain general cleanliness and visual appeal. Um, Why well, say it in one word? We can say it in five. I know. I e trash removal. That's what we want. trash removal and any other types of maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? Any other conditions? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think, I was thinking to add something about um, just if Subject it becomes a change. nuisance, <laughs> if it becomes a nuisance or an eyesore, we can revoke it, but it's like, I think that's doesn't that's need. Implied. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I, I, uh, that's what Although I was getting to. It doesn't need to be spelled are, out. Though once those things are done, you ain't getting it up. You're not getting but, it out of there. Once, now, you've got a, once you've got six inches of ice and, and frozen ground, it's not coming out to thaw comes. It just means they can't play next you could, year. You could close it and then Rope you can off. tell them you'll never do it again. You'll never get it again, but mm -hmm. you're not getting it out of there. Yeah. But I mean, if it's, there may be things to do to make sure to like drain it so that it's, it's there, but there's no rink to skate on making it a, um, less of an attraction to the people, to people causing the nuisance. We'll deal with it when it comes up, if it comes up. I mean, I see your point. It's like, if you can't get it up, then you can't get it up. And next year, they're probably gonna put it on the field that they just had leveled anyway. Yeah. I think that's their intent. It is the intent, so. And so they may want some okay. benches for that anyway. So that's my motion. Second. Yeah. All, right. all right, I think we've finished all the discussion of the motions. Uh, any further discussion? Any more concerns? 
All right, all in favor of the, uh, of the motion uh, to allow REC to place a, an ice rink on the mall or common uh, in all of it, the uh, glory that we have already discussed, please say aye. 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 All right. And now that we've done that, it's never going to get cold enough to really freeze and be usable. Probably. <laughs> all, right. all right. Welcome to the new normal. Mm-hmm. And town common usage authority. All right. Um, my understanding is that the, uh, the that in the past the select board has delegated um, scheduling authority for the common to the cultural council. Um, given that the uh, we're looking at the uh, the cultural council is either going to become defunct or at best there's going to be a severe discontinuity in experience. I'm thinking that. Um, it may make sense for us to, uh, at least as a temporary measure, withdraw all delegation of authority for scheduling um, and reservation of the common and um, arrogate that back to ourselves until the Cultural Council situation settles itself out. And then we, um, and then once, once, the, it's, once we know that it's up and running again, we can delegate to it or we can decide what we want to do then, is my, is my thinking. What do you guys think? Because right now, I don't like the idea of the cultural council having authority, but no one there to wield it. I think it makes more. I think it's cleaner for us to pull it back. So I think that depends on. So we have. Four people now, three that will resign by the end of the year, two that are interested in joining yeah. the board in January, from what I understand. If those people whose names are brought forward. So I don't object to pulling it back for now since we don't know that we'll have a, even a three person committee come January 1st. Mm -hmm. Well, so there was this, what was the intention of this policy in the Packet here. That this policy is from 2012. It was never actually adopted hmm. because it was later determined by the chair at that time that it was overreaching. Right. Um, and I asked Karen to put together hmm. anything that she could find related to um, attempts at delegating this to the uh, anybody, just so you have a history of it. Hmm. So that's why it's. A, yeah, it's, it's, it's a policy the board considered in the past and did not adopt. So it's, it's informational. Mm -hmm. I mean, so at the moment, I believe we don't have a policy Correct. on the common. And my thought also was, it's like, I think it's only been delegated to the Cultural Council, but just on the off chance that it's, been, it's gone elsewhere also, it makes sense for us to sort of pull it all back. Now we know it's only with us, and then we can resume delegating when when the opportunity presents itself this really isn't an overreaching yeah i was going to ask why is it considered overreaching a, well, yeah and and the gentleman yeah. who decided it was and and we can and we can certainly consider a, uh, a policy for the use of the common going forward i just didn't think that was something that needed to be considered now since we're going into the winter and therefore i just didn't think to push that at that angle So, and I think the only thing I would do is I would take this, this policy and say, you know, on that first bullet where it says events on the common and the mall shall continue to be scheduled through the cultural council after the semicolon, in the event that there's not a, a, a core, that the cultural council is not quite capable of that responsibility, then revert to the board of selectmen, even though that's just implied since so it's a committee that we appoint. We can just mm -hmm. put it in there explicitly. Yeah, and so that way we don't have to, be, we don't need to vote to say, hey, we're going to take the power back. We can just mm -hmm. make it our policy that, hey, when we have a cultural council, cultural council decides. Mm -hmm. In the event that we don't have a cultural council, maybe it, it, in, say, the event that the cultural council has fewer than five members and can't provide a quorum, that um, we want to be very explicit. Yeah, my, my concern with that, though, is that if it bounces back and forth automatically, what happens to what happens if the Cultural Council schedules an event, 
um, for say a third party, not for them, uh -huh. and then they go defunct. It's like we, there needs to be a there, when the so authority so reverts so back to us, the, the calendar, the calendar, we have to have visibility into what's on the calendar. I mean, you have experience with other towns. What do they do with their commons? Who is in charge? Or do they just have a common committee? Neither. Uh, the, the three towns that I've worked in prior did not have a common. No. <laughs> well, that made it easy, didn't it? common. <laughs> Holland does not have a common. We have a, an athletic field, but we don't own it. Oh, and if really? Stop using it for sports. It reverts back to the heirs. Mm -hmm. It was a gift. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And um, so, so there are no comments. However, the cultural councils in every other town that I've worked in meets three times a year. They get their grant money. They meet again to discuss the applications. They award the grants, and they come back in another year. And you guys are We have a very active. Yeah, how active the yeah. council is here. Mm -hmm. But it's not the norm. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, and that's why, I'm, that's why I'm saying I think that the policy as written is actually pretty good, which I find it interesting that it was defined as overreaching because the selectmen actually don't take any possession of any authorization here other than vehicles being, you know other than control of vehicles being on the common right and structure like and, and, structure. And, yeah and erecting a structure so I mean that's not this doesn't seem particularly excessive and I think if we just put in there kind of like a a little bit of weasel language around you know if we don't have a you know, a sufficiency of a cultural council to, to do the work. And I think we may want to establish, maybe have a bullet here that the, that the um, select board will provide administrative support via our, our assistant to maintain a calendar, you know, a common calendar to send them to for the rooms. It obviously wasn't the idea to respond said so to adopt this tonight, but you could adopt it minus the first bullet subject to amendment when you when you figure out what you want the first one or two bullets to be. Cultural council will continue. Right. Um, and the next bullet in the event cultural council is not in the forum. Right. And then the, the the select board will provide administrative calendar oversight for the the activities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Yeah. Or you can bring it back in another meeting. What was it? Or you can bring it back in another meeting. Okay. For, uh, for a second, I thought you said town meeting. I'm like, no. town meeting? It's like, okay, yep. Yeah. So. Jeez, this is this is from 20, 2012. Wow. Yep. So I have a question. Has the Cultural Council asked us to cover for them for, for scheduling for the not that I'm no. aware. Has the Cultural Council asked us what? For, to for assistance or or in terms of the uh, common usage? No, they did. They did. They did not ask for help. I, I given their anticipated, um, given the, the likelihood that they were, uh, that they could become defunct at the end of the month, uh, I took the initiative to uh, to bring this matter to the board about the um, the de the delegated um, scheduling authority. That that to me was the. Um, was the was the gap? I didn't. I didn't. Just wanted to make sure that it was clear where that resided um, in the eventuality that the, that the cultural council goes defunct. It's like, and I spoke to Jean, and I, I told her I intended to do that, and she said that makes sense. I didn't. I didn't want it to surprise her.
So I'm going to recommend that we just add a second bullet that says select board admin assistant shall provide calendar support to the cultural council. And then in the event that we don't have a cultural council, it makes it really easy that she just still has the calendar. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of this, as far as I'm concerned, is just good practice. So I'd like to make a motion that we adopt this with that one adjustment. Second. Okay. Um, okay. For, uh, for discussion, I just want to make sure I'm thinking this through. Is that so? The cultural council will um, will just coordinate with with Karen and make sure that that, There's no so schedule that we're informed. We're, we'll, well, well, the cultural council is responsible for approving events on the common, mm -hmm. but they'll inform her so that she can maintain a calendar for for their pleasure. Right. And then, and then if something happens and the cultural council goes defunct, there's a calendar that we have access to. And for any, and for any um, board that doesn't have a quorum, functionally, their responsibilities revert to us anyway. So it, that takes care of it. Yeah. And then if the cultural council is active, does that mean that um, all the scheduling has to go through them? I just want to make sure I I would, the, I would say it does. I would say that they would be responsible for scheduling, yeah. um, including yeah. stuff that people may bring to us for scheduling. If it's mm -hmm. something that happens on the on the common, we we redirect it to them mm -hmm. with a recommendation. Yeah, I mean, I guess te technically, if we ever wanted to schedule something and we didn't want to go through them, we could always award ourselves the authority to we do, do that. Have, but we that do would be actually have the authority yeah. to do that. But, but that would be that would be stepping on toes but, and but I wouldn't a, want to do it. As a as a courtesy to our mm -hmm. committees and our volunteers who would say, Hey, do you have any plans for it this day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to make sure about that. So yeah. it's just the third bullet here, erection of any scaffolding or temporary structures. It's like how does that get a Approved, or is that something someone says I want to do something, and if it involves it scaffolding, right it then they can do it. Joint permit. Of the yeah. inspector, the police, and the fire. Oh, permit. Okay, yeah, I'll learn to read someday. All right, I think I am good here. All right, any more discussion? All right, all in favor of, um, that's like, uh, Beth, could you read the new, the additional bullet point again? Sure, Just select board administrative assistance shall provide calendar support to the cultural council. All right, thank you. Um, all in favor of approving the, uh, the, uh, the uh, town, the uh, policy for the town common and mall um, as um, as amended uh, with the additional bullet point by Beth. Please say aye. 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 All right. And then, all right, and that takes care of, and that takes care of scheduling. Right. And so that brings us to our, what's that? Sorry. Oh, oh I, may, I may have stuck it in somewhere else in the pile. Okay. All right, now the last one, Barron versus Kalenda, the Southboro decision. So uh, the, so uh, I, I discussed this with uh, Kelly last week, I believe, and the, my understanding, and Kelly, keep me honest here, is that the, um, The select board is not required to offer a public comment period at any of its meetings. That is correct. Should it decide to offer public comment, uh, then at that point, and by public comment I mean uh, a, an openish forum where people may comment on whatever matter suits their fancy. Am I, is that right? Yes. And in that event, the select board has very limited power to constrain or otherwise control the speech of the residents who are speaking in this uh, public comment section of the meeting. Let me you want put to that a different way. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> you have the authority on the meeting. 
laws of the Commonwealth and the Constitution of the Commonwealth to put limits on public comment. However, you cannot restrict the language used during that time. Okay. You cannot control content. You cannot control any type of you just you can't control what they say mm -hmm. or how they say it. Okay. But we could control how long they have to say it? Yes, you can determine the time, the place, the amount of uh, times they're allowed to speak. Um, that that you can, there are certain restrictions that can be placed on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think in general, we have not, uh, since I've been on the board, we have not had those on the agenda. Correct. And then uh, with regards to the, um, the, in, with regards to uh, discussion around the um, agenda items on the meeting, it is um, the the board is within its rights to um, to entertain uh, uh, no comment from the floor. That is correct. And that if the um, though the board does have the option to um, to seek. Um, for want of a better term, yeah, expert opinion on a matter that may be before the board. Mm -hmm. Or input. Yes, based on the, uh, at the, at the chair's discretion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, it sounds like while we cannot re regulate civility rule or disparaging comments or content-based criticisms, but we can have content-neutral items inclusive of defining what segment of the meeting would have public comment, individual speaking time limits, mm -hmm. not allowing people to speak over others, mm -hmm. and keeping everything not, at least peaceable and not disorderly. That's correct. So I have the decision in front of me on page 24, the last paragraph, it says, so this was this all turned around civility. This right. this person came to the court and said, "I want you to we want you to declare their public comment policy unconstitutional because of the civility portion of it. It limited when they could say speak, how long they could speak, but then they attempted to limit content, and in the public comment portion of their meeting." Mm -hmm. This was not participation mm -hmm. in an agenda item. This was an open, after their meeting closed, open public comment opportunity to speak with the board. They attempted to limit the content. Um, and so the court said that the civility portion of it was unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. um, however, they also said this, this is not to say that restrictions cannot be imposed on public comment sessions consistent with Article 16 and 19, that's what we're speaking of the Constitution, or the Declaration of Rights. Um, reasonable time, place, manner restrictions could include designating when and where a public comment session may occur, how long it might last, the time limits for each person speaking during the public comment section, and rules preventing speakers from disrupting others or removing those who do. So you still have the power of removal if the meeting becomes disruptive. Mm -hmm. um, and if people are talking over each other, you can also require them to, to speak directly to the chair and not to speak across the room to each other. Um, if, you, if you choose to add in a public comment section, if you want to get input from the attendants in the audience during a meeting, it would be in the board's interest to have a, a formula um, from which people may participate. So if you decide you're going to get input from the, from the people in attendance, have in place each person that's interested in commenting, may speak one time or two times or three times, whatever you want to make it, for X number of minutes, they must remain on topic. Mm -hmm. Whatever agenda item that they're discussing, they must remain on topic. Um, and when the input session is closed, every you know everybody gets to speak once or twice, depends on what you want. Um, 
once that comment period is closed, comments are done. We're just done. And, and no more comments will be accepted mm -hmm. from, from, the, uh, from those in the towns. Are you aware of any towns having policy to that? For during the regular? Since, no. Since Calendula, yeah. Yeah. There are towns are doing this all over the place because it's like the no, but having policy a no, but having a policy. Well, I guess yeah. The reason the flag policies they're going all the, across the entire state because of the Boston case, which is a very recent case. So that's why towns are now adopting flag policies. So this is the same thing. So this is happening all over the state. There actually are towns that have these in place already that have the same civility rules that need to be updated. Because when I was doing the research, I was coming across some town policies where they limit the, what can be said. And that's, that's what this whole case is about. You can't limit content or the way somebody expresses themselves to you. So we should come up with a policy then mm -hmm. for how we should act. Yeah. And how you want, how you want to include participation. I know that hearing from the um, attendees has always been important to you because you, you frequently say, but I want to hear what people want to say. So you just put a procedure in place like at the town meeting. This is, you know, you get up there and, and is it Gilmeister? Mm -hmm. Mr. Gilmeister says, these are the rules, this is how we're going to proceed, and you're going to follow the rules. And then everybody knows what they can and can't do and what to expect. And everybody's treated the same across the board, and that's mm -hmm. key. Everybody has to be treated equally. Yeah. So if you want to, I would say, you want to consider when you're going to allow input what are you going to be your criteria to allow input? And then what what is or and or what is the criteria to engage in the input? How many times do you get to speak? You're not allowed to like I read one today, they're not allowed to repeat themselves. If you said it once and you come up and say it again, you're done. Sit down. Mm -hmm. You cannot repeat yourself. <laughs> yeah. You can't just come back and say it again. Yeah. So um, yeah. I mean there's there's all kinds of stuff out there. Do you yeah. want to think about it and get back to me with what your thoughts are? Or do yeah. you want um, to question. There's a, um, I'm thinking that there is a distinction between what I will call general input from the attendees and the select board inviting expert input in that for expert input, the select board can say, you have domain expertise um, and just as an example, um, in here, um, Mr. Kelleher is, uh, has, is serving on the Board of Health. And so if we have a question about Board of Health matters, we could ask him to come up here and, and represent his experience there. And that's, we would not have, and since no one else in the room has experience, no, if no one else in the yeah, room so had experience. you're not it up to the floor. Yeah, that's something that could be in the yeah. policy that when you're looking for technical information from mm -hmm. somebody who has that expertise. So, that is not yeah. opening it up to the floor for... for um, yeah, I, I want to make sure that, that there there's a distinction there that we can make. Yeah, that, you can do that anyway, though. Yeah. So okay. are you going to suggest but, you're going to come up with sample draft policy for us? <laughs> I, I can do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know that we... Or would you like to? <laughs> would I like to come up with a policy? <laughs> I like to snap my finger and have it come up. <laughs> it's like I, I, I don't think this is a. I don't think we need to solve the policy issue tonight. Um, I mean, we're we're doing okay for time. So if there's interest in that, but then again, I think some people might just want to say, Tom didn't talk too much. Let's declare victory and go home. And so we can we can we can come back to this at, at a future meeting after people have had a chance to think about it. What what do you two feel like? I would like. My personal opinion is if Kelly could get draft policy and then we discuss it at a future, future meeting, meeting yep. and make Wait. edits. Sounds like a plan. Sounds good to me. So, uh, we are out of agenda, so I'm just going to request that we put on a future agenda, um, removing the sign on the common 
Yes, I've, uh, I was approached by uh, Kermit about that, and it's, he reminded me that I had not, um, that I had collected most of the information, I just haven't sat down and said, are we good enough to remove it yet? Yeah, so I think, let's just put it on an agenda and let's, yeah, let's make a decision. Yeah, let's, um, all right, let's try, let's see if we can get that in, because if we can make a decision before the end of the month, we might be able to, actually, the ground's going to be frozen, we're not going to make it this year. The 21st? Yeah. I'll get it out of there by then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's right. like, well, let's put let's put it on let's put it on the pile of things to be discussed. And if the if the agenda for the twenty first looks um favorable, we can I, try and squeeze it you in. You have a hundred percent. I hundred percent of the feedback I've seen is get it gone. Mm -hmm. It's it's hundred percent of the feedback. If you're gonna replace it, replace it with something nicer looking that's in in, in tune with the. Mm -hmm. with the, with the yeah, age I know. of the That's, that, that was my impression That's also. I just needed to... It. So if you want to get it gone, add another, add another music. Yeah. Yes, no, I just, I, I, need, I needed the sure opportunity to... Driving a truck up the entire road to it yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I was... I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. I already, now when it's on the agenda, we can just say we're not going to replace it at this time. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, I just wanted to go back and make sure that that's where we were because my memory, I didn't trust my memory enough to say, yeah, we... Well, anyway, we, yeah, well, but yeah. well, we don't anyway. want to actually talk about yeah. it, but I, I think that yeah. if you have it on the next agenda, that it can be solved pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Could you uh, let Karen know that, please? Yeah, Thank you. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Beth, did you second that? I didn't hear. I did yeah. second that. Excellent. All right. Uh, motion to adjourn at 725. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And we are done. Thank you, everybody.